Guys, my Natro Macro is running right now, and this might honestly be the last time I ever use Natro Macro. And just like real life jobs being replaced by AI, your job of grinding Beast Form is also about to be replaced by AI, or at least an AI powered macro. And if you end up enjoying this video or it helps you in any way, shape, or form, please drop a like and sub, because if you do that, more people will be recommended this video. And I want to show as many people as possible the best macro that's currently in Beast Form. First episode, join the Revolution Macro Discord server. I'll leave a link in the description, or you could just type in discord.gg slash rev revolution macro and just join the server. When you join, you can just answer this. I'm gonna just skip it all because I don't really care. And there should be a Windows and Mac OS download channel here. The great thing about this macro is it works on both Windows and Mac OS. So this is gonna be a major step up for all my Apple users. Okay, anyway, click on the latest release. You can just open GitHub and download the revolution macro.exe. After it's done downloading, just open the file. Windows might give you this pop-up so just click more info and run anyway so don't worry it's not a virus it's been confirmed and by the way the owner literally quit his job to make this macro if that isn't aura then i don't know what is that just makes me trust the guy even more if anything but anyway here's the revolution macro and it looks so much better than natro and let's look at all the features starting with the gather you need to select the field to macro so just click add field it's this plus here and since i'm a red hive i can macro strawberry now we can customize the macro further here you have one the macro will go back to the hive to convert so for me it's at 95 percent you can set it to 100 you can set it to like 50 it doesn't matter then return method you either have walk or ai if you're an early game player keep it on walk because that actually won't reset your avatar and ai will and for early game that's gonna matter a lot because you get to keep a lot more pollen and honey okay next up you have boosts they're working on that in the settings you can select your sprinkler so i have supreme saturator let's select that here you can select for it to use your tool or not and then there's some other settings that you can scroll through it doesn't really matter the macro should be good as soon as you select the field but also you can go to conversion this is for my blue hive so you have convert balloon balloon blessing all that stuff i'm not gonna mess with that because i'm not a blue hive but it's pretty self-explanatory oh you can wait you can set minimum blessing that's so cool bro this thing is so advanced and the coolest part about this macro is in this ai gather section so when you click on token priority this is so cool this sets priority to which tokens will be collected so pretend i'm a macro and I'm gathering, instead of going for haste tokens or just running in the square, I will actually go for the best tokens, like this bear morph and the baby love. Yeah, so as you can see, the priority is token link because it will actually collect every token, then bear morph and then blue boost. But you can customize this. Since I don't really need blue boost tokens, I can just set priority to like 50. And red boost, I can set it to like 90. So as you can see, red boost is now up there in the priority. I can actually drag it up. Yo, that's sick. So you can literally customize the tokens you want to to collect so i could probably put like tornado up here melody is really good inspire is super op we gotta get that up there baby love obviously time coupon festive gift yes sir this is amazing though and next we can move on to the collect page this is pretty self-explanatory you can just select what you want revolution macro to get for you so you can do all the treat dispensers tickets obviously everyone should have that on glue obvious robo pass if you're grinding drives ramp pass if you're grinding ant challenge you can have all that on for the bug run you can go into each individual mob and just select which fields you want them to die in so i don't really care about ladybugs but i'll kill the spider and i'll kill the werewolf too because it's really good for loot i don't really need everything else but early game players you should have all the mobs on it's just free honey and tickets and bonds okay quests that's the only bear they have for now but it's gonna update soon and bosses work in progress blender work in progress okay this is very relatively new i'm recording this in september 2025 and by the time you're watching there might be a bunch of new features Features. So if a lot of stuff releases, I'll make a new video. Next up, we have the planners menu. So I'm just going to click automatic. It's the easiest way. And I have to select all the planners I have. So obviously it's all of them. I have every single item in this game and I can choose my nectar goals. So I'm a red hive. I want a lot of invigorating, a lot of refreshing, maybe some motivating, not as much satisfying and definitely less comforting. And now I can just click confirm and planner studio will generate your planner schedule when you start the macro. Let me just collect all my planners right now. So we can see the macro in progress. What's also cool is you can actually have an updating bot to tell you in the Discord server exactly what is going on. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, go in your Discord, go to integrations, go to webhooks, new webhook. You can call this like macro tech support. You can call it whatever. Then click a channel where you want all the updates to go to. I only have general available. Then you copy webhook URL and you can just click save changes. Now inside of the macro, 
click on the webhook, paste in your webhook, and ping ID. That is so you get notified. So I'm gonna just copy my user ID. I can paste that in here. And this is what's starting to happen once I start macroing. Starting macro connected to relay. Okay, we'll just stop this. Okay, now on tools, you have auto jelly. Cool. I'm gonna go over all these tools. And one of the best ones is actually Vic Hop. Those who are endgame know how hard singers are to get. I only have 500. I spent thousands in my career, maybe tens of thousands. And there are a few people that literally gatekeep the best macros in the game or sell them for hundreds of dollars to get stingers. You can get like 100 stingers an hour with their macros. But this is free. You get a free Vic Hop, which literally gives you infinite stingers. No joke. But first of all, let's look at these bees. I guess I can edit which bees I need. So if I need spicy bee, how does that work? Yeah, stop on mythic, stop on gifted. I'm not going to mess around with it, but wait, it can auto jelly mutations for you. That's amazing. That usually takes hours to do by hand. Then RBC gather. What? Robo challenge? Are you serious? No way. Okay. So RBC gather is for alt accounts. If you have an alt account, it can macro a field, which you select, which is interesting. I'm going to just disable this because I'm not going to use this. But if you're pro enough to have a fuzzy alt, you, you can probably figure out how to use this. Then Vic hop. I'm excited for this. But finally, we have the settings. So you can select your theme light or dark obviously light is pretty disgusting so you want dark and in the game you can select your player move speed camera sense my player move speed with is 33.35 with no additional haste when you're checking make sure you have no additional haste no bear morph no super smoothie no nothing bro no diddy what 33.35 now you do okay i don't know what this does i'm gonna just ignore it networking cool presets work in progress credits let's start the macro and finally check it out i'm gonna just close roblox and start the macro okay it's opening b swarm of course that's the only thing that it can open. This is just a bee swarm only clanker. Okay, I guess it's checking for nighttime. Uh, okay, I have to turn off auto jelly because my macro was low key bugging, but now it works. So let's first check out the vicious bee hop. I'm super excited to see this. Okay, close my Roblox. Nice. I'm gonna just keep this open in the corner. Okay, that was daytime, so the macro auto leaves. Okay, nighttime. Time to check for vicious bees. All right, first it's going up to pepper. Okay, and it's gonna check under the field to see if there's a vicious bee, just using camera angles. All right, not in pepper. Maybe another field. Not in top field, but still gonna check because the macro AI doesn't know. It's not that advanced. AI is still dumb. There we go. Check under the field, nothing. Check under spider field, nothing. I think it checks based on priority which field will give you more singers. So First of all, Pepper gives you the most. Okay, what happened? It reset. What the heck? Did it see a vicious bee? Because I didn't see anything. What is it doing? Oh, it's doing planners. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Dude, after... Okay, we finally got a vicious bee. Easy as that. Two free singers. And, and the macro will literally just hop servers and do it again. Indefinitely. Okay, so I had my gather on this on the skillet mode. And now we're going to set it to AI gather and see what it does. So I want to see the token optimization. There we go. It just went for the bear morph. Now it's going for the token link. Okay, it's kind of tweaking out a little bit, but this is literally just brand new release. I'm sure a lot of the problems will get fixed down the line, but for now, even for such an early product, this is actually amazing. And there are people that literally make trillions and quadrillions of honey macroing with this. So yeah, if you use Natro, try this out. But yeah, this is so much better than just walking in a random pattern. Like, it's actually playing like a real player would, kind of. Instead of literally just running around like this. Like, that's so cringe, bro. But yeah, Revolution Macro is great. Had a lot of fun playing around with this and i want to give a disclaimer okay i got so many comments on my nature macro tutorial like is this bannable is this allowed yes it's allowed it is not bannable macroing is totally all right because all that macroing is is literally a program that presses your keyboard and mouse for you that's all it is it's not like injecting a script into your game which is what hacking is so you guys will be fine don't tweak out and if you have any questions or you need help with the macros, just ask in their Discord server. I'm sure people will help you there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check out the macro link in the description. Also, join my Discord server. Link in the description as well. I'll see you guys. Peace.